So we are in Kedjistan. Even though I'm level 50, I am trying to um, I am trying to full complete a zone before I move on to world tier 3 as I have recently died very shortly after moving to world tier 3 prior to this. Uh, do we have dungeons? Kedjistan. Inferno dungeon. That's the PvP. Kedjistan. Where is the Inferno dungeon? No. Oh, I see. Okay. How long do I have? One hour, 14 minutes? Okay. Then I think we will slowly go into it. I don't think there is that much of a rush. Consume. That one's pretty good, actually. Oh wow, what are these? size, I guess, with the skeletons trying to ambush you. Ritual site? Oh, that's pretty slow then. And melee proc Mandeln. Mandeln's a really low proc rate. Right? If you're trying to proc Mandeln with normal skills, it's, you're gonna have a bad time. For men down, the best skill that I think is working properly is Corpse Tendrils. The best skill that is almost certainly a bug is Bone Prison with some of the aspects. And the best spammable skill is Bone Spear. Bone Spear is a completely ridiculous lucky hit skill. But you have to use like six or seven of them single target on average to get a proc. Bone Prison just procs it every time, which means Bone Prison has a 1,000% lucky hit chance. Because even if it had a 100% lucky hit, it only proc one of 10 hits, but it procs every time. So yeah, I, I think it might actually... I think it's almost certainly bug. Not might, I think it's almost certainly bug.
belated birthday. Yeah, dude, you're off for like 10 minutes. What the hell? for leveling and farming gold. Yeah, I just don't really want to be in there on stream at level 50 on hardcore. What could go wrong? Lots of things. Adamex. Oh, this is not a big dungeon, but it certainly looks like a big dungeon. Wait, is there a fly nest there? Maybe it's not. Yeah, it's small. So what I'm going to do is... Um, whatever level I end at, it'll probably be like 53 or something. Finish Kedjistan, and then go to World Tier 3, and cash in the bonuses of the four zones I have completed, then work towards the fifth zone. I'll be trapped in this state for another eternity. Slow and steady, but I mean, I really don't want my progress wiped out completely, which is exactly what happened on my last deaths. So this is a boss without being a boss. I can't CC him, but I can't stagger him. Oh, I can CC him? What am I gonna attempt? Do you not get too tapped? I didn't get too tapped. The mob did like a cold bomb for everything that it hit with the cleave. I got hit by like 12 cold spikes. If you check the the rip clip, you can you can see the thorns doing damage like 12 times. Uh, I'm going to always use the immunity bubble. That's that's what I'm gonna do. are down here. Yeah. Thinking of maybe just completing this thing real quick. gave us his rip today but it's world tier one well i think we will finish world tier one and do a little bit of world tier three today at least i'd like to it's been, it's been taking me about three hours or so to complete 2000 renown in a zone 
But I feel like my character is going to be a little bit more powerful than normal. Because I am going to out-level it a little bit. And I I started this a little bit already the other day, right? I'm not at zero. I'm at like... Actually, like a thousand. That's not too bad. But it does depend heavily on the zone. Some zones are, are much, much worse. Oh yeah, let's see something. Crypt fire resists. golden derping right now. Don't remember this strong one. Super nice and easy. Blight aspect again. Non fizz damage as Ice Arc. Sure, everything helps. Was there no quest here? Golem aspect. Yeah, that seemed really bad to me, but I don't know. Oh, there actually is a shrine here, I believe. There it is. Um, that goes like nowhere. But I believe there's a quest there, so maybe we we cash that one in. You think Necro is top tier? Do you just like the play style? I like minions. Minions are quite enjoyable. And I think the Mendel version of the build is also very strong. Now with that said, I'm trying to play minions without the Mendel tech. I think it is possible.
might not be very easy. Wand of Abamari. Int distant ultimate skill. Sells for two gold. Wow, thanks for nothing. Spend it all in one place. Yeah. I've actually done, I think, three of the ritual sites. I'm surprised how fast I'm leveling on world tier one. I actually feel like it might be slower on world tier three, unless you have a very powerful character. Which I don't exactly have. There is actually a fairly close altar here I think I would like to obtain. Because I normally wouldn't want to be that close to this part of the map otherwise. Dry Steppus. We'll do that later. Friends took in hardcore keep, so this one, yes, so the, the bonuses stay, but the renown that I gained in getting them does not stay. And because I haven't fully maxed out my renown, it is effectively worthless. So that is a bit of a bummer. Has to be above the rest for season one. I mean, I don't know anything about season one. Most likely, the classes are not going to be perfectly balanced. Yes. Most likely, they are not going to be. Wow, what is this? Quest hub in the middle here. Tomb of the Saints. Okay. They have no world. Come with me. Play cannibals. Okay, let's just go pick up some more quests. There's gonna have to be a bit of a run back, but it is what it is. Thank you, Dublai. Oh, there's actually... Oh, I did get that. Okay, good. Skipping important plot points. <laughs> sure. That's great, yeah. Camels. I don't like camels. Is this still hardcore necro number two? It is, yes.
altar? What's the altar? Oh, this is the altar. Guess the other guy just killed it, so I have to spawn again. Okay, I mean that's not so bad. Okay. That was epic. Yes, epic. Yeah. It was wonderful. What can I say? I love dying like that. I can't wait to die that way again. Those are all murmuring caches. It's got vuln damage, but the rest is kind of bad, so whatever. Yeah. Those are pretty good pants, though. Let's see what I get from this. Hardcore WoW servers? I think it's pretty cool. I'm not too interested, but... People seem to really like the idea. Rings, let's go. Yes. Two-handed scythe. Oh, a ring, good. Oh, I actually got a glyph. Shadow Blight, lowest roll. It's got a lot of life in a socket, though. Distant. Stunned and distant. It's just a life is min roll. Overpower mod. All stats and vulnerable. This one has vulnerable and close. 89, 81, no socket. I mean, that has a pretty decent ability also. Um, that 97 is going to be like 130. Tina distant. Distant. No, it's well. I guess the resists are gonna get better too. Lightning and poison, fire and poison. That's eh, very, very close. I think I'm not gonna use that. I think I'm not gonna use that either. I think I will use those pants though. Damage from distant. Those have thorns. I like thorns. Can't salvage an equipped item. Okay. Upgrade. Nah, not the fourth. Not that rich. 2,000 life. Okay, that's looking good. Armor is pretty bad, but that's because we don't actually have sacred gear, but that's because we're not in world tier 3 yet. So we'll have to see how that dynamic plays. Have a Lilith Shrine here. Okay, we don't have a Lilith Shrine there. Bro, where is the Lilith Shrine? Oh, I see it. Did an event just spawn and it blocked my horse off. Is sacred better gear? Yes. Okay, I want to go pick up that quest, and I want to engage in a few Lilith Shrines on the way also. There's another... how much time do I have? 50 minutes? That's a lot of time, actually. Okay. 
Maybe I should just go to the dungeon and do the rest after. That's probably more efficient. Oh my god, it's Majub. Those murmurings after 53, so we can get a few sacred items. And I probably need to be in the other world tier, but we'll see. Okay, no, I guess I guess we're going for it here. Double quest? Alright. This guy almost killed me in one of my playthroughs. I don't remember which one. He was completely insane. Yes. Give it here. Now. Grind the petals up. He almost killed you as well. Well, I'm gonna be a level higher than him, so there's that. Like they fixed his bug life leech. He was healing for like all of his health every every single damage instance the last time I faced off. I mean I am right here. Stronghold is right here, so fine, let's go do it, I guess. Nerfed? Maybe, yeah. It's quite possible that is nerfed. Butcher? Yeah, I've killed Butcher a few times. Butcher is not that hard. Like, I think people don't realize... I mean, I guess it's kind of fair. So, in Diablo 3, if an attack begins in melee range of you and would have hit your position at the end of an attack... The attack can no longer miss. No. You won't stop my it's actually how Crippy died on his witch doctor, if you guys want to look up that video. A quill rat hit one of his minions, like two rooms away. Literally two like two screens away. And because his minion leashed with a quill rat projectile in the air. His minion teleported to his character and the literal guided missile of the quill bore was intercepted by his character and he died. 
It's one of the stupidest combat mechanics you can possibly have in an ARPG. If an attack begins and it would have hit you, it can no longer miss no matter what. The reason I bring it up is probably some people who played D4, knowingly or not, are kind of used to those combat mechanics. But in D4, that's not how it works. If at the end of the attack, it looks like the literal, like, fist or blade makes actual contact with your character, that will hit. If it doesn't, it will not hit. So Butcher is actually pretty easy because his attack speed is quite low. So you can sidestep his attacks constantly. If you're not standing still and you're kind of going in circles around Butcher, he's going to do like 90% less damage to you. So Butcher's, Butcher's not that hard unless you're playing a build where you have to stand still for long periods of time to do damage. In which case, he's probably quite hard, actually. But uh, turns out most of those builds are just really, really garbage, so... Wow, that hurts. What the hell? Barb, you're supposed to be world tier 3 on 50. I know. There is one here, yeah. That's three, effectively. I think I will go into the dungeon now, though. I can explore the bottom the other way around, actually, so that's fine. I 
think I've done this Infernal Instance like ever. Yeah, World Tier 1 has a cap. If it wasn't for not potentially wasting my Renown progression, I would have gone at like maybe even as early as 48. In Softcore, I would go probably as close to 40 as I can get it. Bonespear is minionless. Ah, Bonespear with minions is very good as well. I just think Bonespear with minions is more like, um, more a build to crush, like, mid-end content. The hybrid builds, they just don't have enough survivability on their minions for, like, really high-tier stuff. You can barely have enough survivability on your minions if you play full minions and fully invest into their survivability. Yeah, I heard druid minions are still really bad. Where did golem not go? I guess it has to be on the screen. Explodes. First shrine's a pretty bad experience. Hardly minions, more like passive dots. So, like minions? Yes. Yeah, they're not too high damage, but I think their damage is uh, pretty good. Uh, it's pretty good single target, and it's okay AoE damage, even if you go full minions, I think. But more than anything, I think it is uh, very strong for hardcore and DC protection as well. over time.
What the hell? They hit me for like half of my life. Dude, I have 2,000 life in World Tier 1. What's the game plan? I'm gonna try to do the renowned grind for Kedjistan. I mean, I only need like 400 more or something. It's really hard to tell how much I really need. Because the, the last few are the hardest. Because sometimes you'll have to be like, oh hey, there's no more quests or anything I could do, so I gotta do like five dungeons or something, right? Like that's gonna, that's gonna suck. So I, d I don't really know how that's going to land. On this one, fine, let's... Cash that quest then. Dungeons are more fun than quests. Right, but most quests are a lot faster than two thirds of one dungeon. Especially because you have to run to the dungeon, and especially because most of the dungeons that we would be doing I haven't done them before, so I don't really know what it's like. Distant damage. Plus 10. Do you mean they attack? Ah, well done. I mean, eight damage standstills. <laughs> Maybe something I'd use. I, I, I basically never stand still, but it's, it's not bad. It's not bad. Okay. Um. So fine, let's let's figure out Imperial Library stuff real quick. With 
think it's just a few dungeons and a few shrines. Got that side of it. Uh, got that one. So there is. What is that? Okay, it's like here. Armenian, I am not. Barbarian is Crypt the Barbarian. It's not. Uh, it's not like an Armenian last name. Even though it probably very much sounds like one. that legion event I'm not that interested in the legion event to try to do the full map reveal first. Because that plus the shrines will give me an idea of how much other stuff I actually need to do. Oh, my shrines are actually done. Oh, okay, sure. So let's just do the map reveal stuff then. Seven minutes. Honestly, I think I might want to do that. Underroot. Oh, dude, don't we have an underroot quest? Oh, that's in Scos. We're done with Scos. Okay, but this one is in Dry Steps. Seaside Descent. Fine, let's just do that one real quick. Little bit of a detour, but I will have to do that eventually. I think I want to go directly to it. That descent has one Lilith Shrine almost immediately next to it. I like giving myself getting to a hundred. The really hard part is getting to like seventy. <laughs> After seventy, if we get ourselves like the right aspects, and we probably will. We're basically in the clear. Maybe like seventy-three or so.
gets hard around 90 plus again? I don't think so. I think the crazy gear that you get in the early 70s starts to level out a little bit. But I don't think it really gets hard, hard. I think part of what happens that people don't realize is, again, how stupid and how broken armor is. They get a bunch of effectively level 100 gear when they first enter world tier 4. Which basically gives them a massive amount of armor for enemies at their level. And they just take no damage. And you can't really increase your armor from that point with items. You have to increase it by getting the armor affix on gear. And some players don't. And as they level, they start taking tons of damage because of that. I don't really blame the people, because it's a really convoluted mechanic. The, the the really big fail that probably won't ever be fixed is the level, level scaling in D4. I think it's always going to feel like weird and not good, at least at some points in the leveling cycle, no matter what. It's such a difficult thing to, like, balance and get right, and any kind of new mechanics they implement into the game is going to struggle to work properly with this. Like, imagine they add, like, a PoE-style boss that you can engage with after, like, level 60. Right? It might be... It might be best to do it on a literal level 60 character. Because if you level up further than that, you might have problems. Like right now, Uber Lilith is level 100, but if, if they do like new seasonal content, you really think they're going to gatekeep it? at level 100. It takes so long to get to 100. I don't think so. So if they do like seasonal bosses, they'll probably have level scaling. And if they have level scaling, who knows? It might be something like a decked out twink level 10 character has the best chance of killing the boss. Like it sounds stupid. I know it sounds stupid, but like I'm just I'm just trying to give you guys the 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 challenges that they have to constantly deal with making content for the game because of the level scaling that is so core to it. Like it, it it's, it's really a mess. Like it, it's so much extra work that they'll honestly probably never be able to get right. And they have to deal with that every time they add content. Time no Hunter was reduced significantly with Nightmare Dungeon buffs. Yeah. What's the problem? So right now, if level scaling worked on everything, like if you could face Uber, Lilith, level scaled, I guarantee you the strongest character you can make is below level 20. That is a problem. Because unless they gatekeep, gatekeep all interesting seasonal content at level 100, which they probably shouldn't do. That has its own set of problems if they do that. But yeah, if you were to level scale to kind of take on any kind of level scalable content, you're going to want like a, I don't know, something like a level 15 character. Maybe like a level 10 character. Like a really twinked out one. But yeah.
world tier five. I don't really get the, the point of all that. I don't think world tier five does anything meaningful. Right now, the character progression's kind of like a ladder. And there's like one spoke missing near the top. And then world tier five is basically that spoke. And yeah, if they add it in, you can have maybe a bit more of a smoother progression curve. But that's it. I don't think I don't think world tier five is meaningful at all. Rare is just spawning from nowhere. It's actually a pretty interesting dungeon, really. Okay. Can't they make a boss level static? Right, but if it's static, it'll be a hundred. If if seasonal content is gate kept at level a hundred, that is lame. Like when Path of Exile has a new league, their goal is to engage you with content non-stop throughout the game. Max speed crit. What do I have on that? Nothing. Okay. Oh, we got a bubble mod. It's quite a quite a lot higher. It has like no useful stats really, like actually nothing. Poisonous cold resist in normal difficulty is actually good. Is that an unstoppable slug? Did you guys see that? have triple DR pants, force that should be life or percent armor. <laughs> uh, sounds like you need some new pants eventually. You should probably just stop on whichever of the two you land on. Life and armor are by far the best two defensive stats, so eventually you're going to want pants with both of those, unfortunately. Appreciate that. 
What are skulls? 170, yeah, okay. Add sockets. I have 14 of those. I don't even know how I get those. I don't think anything is worthy of adding a socket, though. Oh, this is Havazar still. Oh, I see. Okay, just then 1500. Stronghold 3. I'm missing a waypoint and I got a bunch of quests over there. Let's try steps. Okay, just then I'm actually missing tons. Oh, I didn't realize it was that zone. Oh, well, those are in Kedjistan. Okay, so I'm like minus 2. I'm not, I'm not going for those. All right, that's fine then. Thirty nine armor. Okay, we're going somewhere. PvP in Diablo is terrible. The best PvP in Diablo has been in Diablo 2. And it promptly ended when they made the Enigma item. Literally, that was it. That single action basically nuked PvP in Diablo forever. And it's not even really fun up until people get it in the first few days, because all people are doing is trying to get it. They're not really doing PvP stuff. We're gonna go for that node first. Hardcore with server lag spikes. Haven't really had server lag spikes, really. Waypoints, strongholds, most discoveries. I'm missing lots of shrines and quite a lot of dungeons. Like here, kind of? Oh, it's a gobble. Finest gobble kill. Necro trying to chase a goblin. Yeah, the the mobs get distracted. Sorry, the minions get distracted on like all the other mobs. That's the core issue with that. No idea what this is. some like main quest line thing. Oh yeah, that's Andariel's I believe. Okay, we'll have to go there, but we'll have to go there for the quest. Let me, let me get the Lilith Shrine here in the corner, which is like there. Okay, 
almost have a full map reveal. And I can see there's at least one zone where I'm going to be heading anyway. Good second ability, yeah, that would be really nice. Yeah, but this zone seems quite decent. I think this is one of the easiest zones. There's just so many quests. The quests are pretty easy. I mean, yeah, okay, I basically have to go there. Oh no, not yet. There's like a zone thing there. The exploration points are probably the easiest ones, so... And we need to get full exploration for it to carry over to Season 1. And that's a big part of what I'm trying to do right now, so... Yeah, you're going to want to full complete all the map and all the shrines for both softcore and hardcore to like uh, season proof your account. And who knows, maybe more because they did have a bit of blowback with the renown system. Yeah, I'm, I'm a necromancer enjoyer. I've actually found a lot of people are like kind of sticking to necromancer. It's pretty interesting. I was quite interested in Necromancer early, but I just couldn't uh, couldn't seriously consider it, given that the minion survivability was like basically anyone's guess. And on top of that, people who had played it at high level said it was questionable, at best. <laughs> 